Welcome back. So it's been a really, really, really busy couple of weeks. Um, we've been absolutely slammed in the restaurant, which has been a great thing. Um, we really appreciate everyone's coming down to try the chicken burger. But this week, the weather's getting a little bit colder. I've got my, jump, I've got my jumper back on. So I'm thinking of making a curry dish. Um, and for me, it's got to be a fish curry dish. And actually this week, MSC have got in touch that it's Sustainable Seafood Week. So they've asked a few chefs and I to come up with some simple suppers and immediately I really, really want to cook my sardine curry. Why is it important to buy sustainable fish? Well, just imagine a world without any Singapore chili crab or barbecued sea bass. The best way to get involved with the MSC Sustainable Seafood Week will be to look for the blue eco label when you're out and about in your supermarket just look for that blue eco label tick. I'm just gonna do a quick supermarket sweep to get some of the ingredients for the sardine curry. Come with me. So MSC have sent me some of the beautiful sardines. So this is going to be the MSC sardine curry. They've sent them butterfly, which means they've taken the bone out. I've just trimmed off the little tail and we're just going to leave them whole like that. You can also use tinned sardines, but make sure you're just looking out for that MSC blue tick on the tin. First up, well now we're going to make a rempa, so our spice paste some ginger, shallots and garlic. And I'm just gonna cut it down into smaller chunks so that it all blends smoothly in my food blender. Or if you are old fashioned and like to do it the proper way, you can do this in a pastel and mortar. I'm gonna use my trusty Thermomix. Add a touch of oil in there just to help it blend. Ready out. Okay, so it's really important when you're doing any sort of curry that we cook out this rempa, the onion and garlic out really nice and slowly to release all that aromat and that flavor out. So I'm gonna take some vegetable oil, a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil, in goes that spice paste. Now sort of a medium to low heat, we're just gonna cook that out until it's slightly changed color. All right, while that is sauteing, we're going to prep the rest of the vegetables. I've got some okra. I'm just going to slice the ends of these and then slice them diagonally. Curries are always a great way of getting kids to eat lots of veg because you can just hide it braised into the curry so they can never know. You could also add maybe some green pepper. I like using the Turkish green pepper with this dish. But I got hold of a nice aubergine that we're going to use for the rest of the curry. This is kind of going to bulk out that sardine flavour and it's going to cut it into smaller manageable pieces. Okay, let's check on this. Whenever making any curry, we're going to use some spices. Now, with this curry, we can kind of go more or less, depending on how spicy you'd like the, the actual dish. So this week we've got some fenugreek. This is gonna give it that wonderful sort of unique flavor. Nigella seeds, mustard seeds, some curry leaves, and of course, some Singaporean curry powder. But you could also use any normal curry powder. This one is particularly, it's got a lot more lemongrass and uh, turmeric to it than a normal curry powder. All right, so we're going to use about half a teaspoon of each, and that's gonna go into this rempa. A small handful of curry leaves. And we're just gonna give this a good stir until all that flavor comes out. Thank you. 
if it's starting to stick a little bit, just add a little bit more vegetable oil so that you don't catch that onion on the bottom there. And just keep it moving. You want to, you'll smell all that aroma come out after about a minute or so and you know that those spices are doing their thing. And everyone else in the market is going to wonder what we're cooking today. It smells so good. Next up are lovely Singaporean curry powders going in. And I'm also going to add in some cumin and fennel seeds. That's just going to go in there like so. So this is going to be the real heart and base for this curry. It smells incredible. And I'm also going to add in some star anise. So the chicken curry powder or Singapore curry powder or your normal um, like curry powder will go in. One and a half tablespoons. Give that a really good mix. So notice I'm not doing this on too high a heat because I don't want this to catch and burn. I want basically all that spice and all that flavor to come out in the oil and flavor the oil because that oil is going to penetrate into the sardines and give it so much flavor. You know you're ready for the next step and that oil has changed into a really nice golden hue because all that spice is flavor that oil but don't rush it. So let's just give this a little couple of minutes. With the sardines, like I said, they are beautifully filleted. You can use tinned ones. It's a lot, lot easier and quicker. And make sure you're looking out for that blue tick. And I've made sure there's no fins or uh, scales left on those. Add a splash of water into the base here. I'm just going to put a little bit of smacked lemongrass in there. By smashing that, we're going to get release all that lovely aromat from that lemongrass. Now we're going to put in the sardines carefully. And then in goes the okra, the vegetables. Overshine. So give it a little stir, you don't want to break up the sardines too much, otherwise it'll go in quite mushy. But you want to make sure you're coating every piece in that lovely spice paste. And now we're going to add in some tomato. And a touch of coconut milk. So this curry is going to lead a bit of sourness to kind of balance it out. So I got some tamarind, um, I, got, I made some tamarind paste earlier, just using some tamarind seeds and then soaked them in a little bit of water. About 100 mils would be great. And of course, some seasoning. I'm using salt, by the way. You could use MSG, but shouldn't need it. There should be a lot of flavour in those fresh sardines. And I'm just going to let that simmer for about 15 minutes. I don't know where the right size pan is, lid is. Chefs have put it somewhere, but this will do. So it's taken me about five minutes to put it together and it will take another about 10-15 minutes in the pot. No longer than that, really. You just want that until the vegetables are nice and soft. And in the meantime, this is perfect to serve with some freshly steamed rice. So I've got my trusty rice cooker, and that is already got some steamed rice ready to go. Look at that, simple. All right, so this has been simmering for 15 minutes. Oh, that looks, smells amazing. Let's have a look. You see, everything's kind of like slightly broken down there. Overshine and okra, nice and soft. I think that is ready to serve.
So that is a super simple sardine supper for Sustainable Seafood Week. Oh my God, say that five times fast. But I'm really happy to contribute that to the MSC Sustainable Seafood Week. And if you want more details on how to cook this at home and more details about MSC Sustainable Seafood Week, just hit the description and link below. And if you really like the recipe and give it a go, hit that like button and subscribe. It's been a pleasure, guys. Got a lot of sardine curry to eat up. Let's mac can again next week. See you guys.